A cruise today will be taking you to on a special trip to the Cathedral of Al Abbasiya on a very special occasion. I'm Ahmed Nadan and will be partnered by Nashwa Rashid. Hello, Nashwa. Hello, Ahmed, and welcome all of you to this edition of the Nile Cruise. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas to all of you. And just as Ahmed mentioned today, we are here in this beautiful place, peaceful place. We have got many different segments or topics to be tackled on this show or this edition of the Nile Cruise. But first, let's move on to a break and we'll be back. St. Mark's Coptic Orthodox Cathedral is located in the Abbasiyah district in Cairo, Egypt. It's the saint of the Coptic Orthodox Pope. It was built during the time when Pope Cairo of Alexandria was Pope of the Coptic Orthodox Church and inaugurated by Pope Cairo in 1968. The cathedral is considered a unique example of architectural evolution, which includes seven churches of which some have a great historic value, such as Amber Reis Church. The cathedral represents the rapid development of Coptic architecture. The famous Coptic civil engineer, Michael Bahoum, contributed in its structural design. It has a capacity for 5,000 worshippers. Before the completion of the cathedral, the Roman Catholic pontiff of the time, Pope Paul, returned part of St. Mark's relics, which were taken from Egypt in the year 828 to Venice, Italy. These relics were taken to the newly constructed cathedral, where they were placed in a specially built shrine, brightly decorated with Coptic icons. They still remain there today. The Coptic Cathedral of St. Mark is by far the largest cathedral in Africa and the Middle East. In 2012, the cathedral was the site of many important events in the history of Copt, as well as all Egyptians, especially when thousands of Christians gathered to pay their final respects to Pope Shenouda III as he sat on his throne for the last time. Pope Shenouda was loved by Egypt's Christians, even outside the Orthodox Church, as well as by many Muslims. For three days, St. Mark's Cathedral was packed with local clerics, visiting clergymen and dignitaries as deacons chanted summer hymns, and bearded black-clad priests and monks recited prayers and dispensed incense smoke from censers. The cathedral came back to light and was on the front of national and international headlines on November 4, 2012, when the Coptic Church elected their new pope. Pope Theodorus II, Metropolitan Bahomius, Metropolitan of Behera and Pentapolis, was chosen as chair of the Holy Synod and to act as caretaker until the election and consecration of a new pope. The Holy Synod of the Coptic Orthodox Church finalized a list of three candidates who received the highest vote, whose names were put in a glass chalice for a name to be picked by divine choice to be the new patriarch of Alexandria. The name is picked by a blindfolded boy who is believed to be guided by the hand of God. The liturgy of the altar ballot took place on November 4, 2012, during which the 60-year-old Bishop Tabadorus, Auxiliary Bishop of Behera, Assistant to Metropolitan Bahomius of Behera, was chosen as the 118th Pope of Alexandria, to be known as Theodorus II. He was formally enthroned on November 18, 2012. Although historically associated with the city of Alexandria, the residence and seat of the Coptic Orthodox Pope of Alexandria has been located in Cairo since 1047. The Pope is currently established in St. Mark's Coptic Orthodox Cathedral, in a compound which includes the Patriarchal Palace, with an additional residence at the Monastery of St. Beishoi. St. Mark's Coptic Orthodox Cathedral site 
in the heart of Carbo and is considered to be the home of Christians. The cathedral is also a site highly respected by Egyptian Muslims as well. Welcome back. You're still watching Now Cruise. In this segment of the program, we're honored to be having Dr. Osama Asham, the international...